My name is Jonathan Yusebi. I'm the stunt coordinator on Agent 47. I'm John Valera, the fight coordinator on Agent 47. We work well together with the actors is because Jonathan work, focuses a lot with the story, the storytelling of the choreography. The camera shoots all our previses. I worry about the performance behind the stunt guys and the actors, making sure everything's tight, you know, their lines are clean because we pretty much, we feed off each other, we bounce off each other, we know each other's style and movement, so it, it we complement each other in that fact, in that way. John knows performance-wise what looks sharper because some things sometimes what works for reality does not work for film. So we have we 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 have a pretty good idea in terms of performance on camera, um, like what looks better. Sometimes realistic doesn't necessarily cinematically like translate better. And like um, like John goes in and kind of sees the movement if it doesn't look sharp or wide enough, he knows how to change it according to the according to where the camera angle and stuff is. Ali and the producers wanted is like what would Agent 47 use in the room besides his hands and his feet or his elbows? You know, he's, he's going to pick up a book, he's going to pick up a glass bottle, he's going to use a pen, he's going to use, you know, a lamp, he's using the tables. That's how smart he is. He's just using everything. You know, and you get, you have SI ops coming in using guns and knives, the yeah. typical weaponry yeah. that you would see in a good, a good guy versus bad guy fight. But he uses everything in the room or anything. So that shows how smart he is. When we design action sequences, as opposed to just kind of making like moves, gratuitous moves, you have to kind of base everything on what the psychology of their what their character would do. So Agent 47, he's already a pro at all this stuff. He already kind of knows what to do, so everything he does has a reason. So if he sees something or he plans something pre-ahead, it's not, it's not incidental, it's like he's already pre-planned everything. And what we'll say with Smith, is like another version of him, but more of a hothead. So he's more arrogant in everything he does. He's more, uh, he knows what he's doing, but it's more for bravado and everything kind of bigger. And then Katya, everything's kind of, she doesn't know and she's not trained, but she already has these predetermined traits inside of her. So her instincts, her instincts are kind of correct, but she doesn't know why she knows to do the right decision. She just, but, um, but at the same time, she's not refined. She doesn't know what she's doing, but her instincts seem to take her into the right, like safest or right, you know, right place. Zachary, um, we got, uh, we barely, like for the first fight, the Alexander Palach train tracks fight, we got, he came in, what, two days before? Yeah. So it was, I mean, we already had to design his, we had his style already mapped out, but we didn't have really much time to train him for that first fight. But we got lucky, Zachary came in and he was, he was already game to just train and get it down, get the choreography down. Mm -hmm. He learned the choreography really fast mm -hmm. and that's all he wanted to do was just rehearse it and, rep and it. just rep it out and that's how he gets better. We come from a martial art base where we, like we used to train people, like teach people. So um, for us, it's just, we kind of, took that knowledge of what we already know how to do and applied it to kind of the cinema world. Yeah. Hello, Valerie here with another So You Think You Know movies. Now, let's start with onset injuries, with Jennifer Lawrence being left temporarily deaf in one ear while shooting The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Sorry, what was that you said? Huh? And Nikki Reed injured her hands during the shooting of Twilight and had to wear gloves to cover them up. Okay, moving on, billionaire cameos with Sir Richard Branson having a blink and you miss it cameo in Casino Royale. Download our Film Is Now app, available for both Android and iOS. Bye bye.